introduce the time period, and of course a little bit later on the uh, history went uh, into the Renaissance time period. In the musical context, the Renaissance time period starts to have the polyphonic music, and therefore that's the main concept for the section.
almost close to the completion, and then I heard the bad news that Brigadi actually passed away. And in memory of him, which uh, who actually is very, very um, important composer to uh, reference my music a lot, therefore I quoted uh, his music uh, by the ending of my piece. the end of the guitar piece and the idea is actually um, almost like the, uh, the descriptions of the history of Dong at the same time is also a description of the history of music in Europe. Uh, the next piece that I would like to share is called Dots Lines Convergence and this is uh, a concerto for Chinese Zhen and Chamber Ensemble and uh, the piece actually was uh, commissioned by Harvard Fund Foundation and was premiered at the Carnegie Hall. And this particular piece, although it's using the Chinese instrument, Gu Zhen, but at the meantime, the ensemble itself actually is for the Western ensemble to accompany the piece. Now, uh, this piece, in a way, is very significant for me is because it's the piece that I really were able to uh, combine both Western and Eastern elements together. Um, in this particular piece, the Western elements, it's focused on the polyphonic as well as the homophonic. Use both hands uh, to play the pitches on Gu Zhen, which is the type of instrument normally used the single uh, hand in the traditional performance concept. Now, uh, in addition, the concert music elements in the Western uh, music uh, elements uh, were including like the development of ideas, the complex rhythms, and the kind of points, the active displacement and point uh, point placement the modern uh, harmonic systems, as well as the Quang Fa melody, my personal favorite, and the sound mess. Uh, there are some extended techniques being used in this particular piece on Zhen, that particular instrument. For instance, they can put the pitches on the left side of a bridge, as well as treating the instrument as the percussive techniques uh, to fitting on the sound boat, etc. Now, uh, the eastern elements that are being incorporated in this particular piece uh, is that the Gujen, the instrument itself is a non-Western instrument, of course, and the left-hand techniques uh, on the Gujen, like uh, uh, the vibratos, the pitch band, the grisantos, which are actually from the traditional techniques of uh, the instrument. And uh, in addition, the pentatonic scale references not for the Ika piece, only for partial, and the hydrophonic content, and most importantly, the breath rhythm, you know, uh, featuring the space and uh, the beans, etc. Now, I have been working with the Chinese instruments since 1992, and although uh, most of my music education actually were done in, by the uh, Western music concept, but uh, I got a very uh, lucky opportunities in 1992 to, uh, to get to know to the ensemble uh, from Taiwan. And uh, in fact, over the years, uh, one instrument that I love the most is Gu Zhen. The reason why, as a contemporary composer, Gu Zhen gave me the opportunity to create my own skills. And here I have uh, I abstract five of the scales that I use in five different pieces that I compose. 
and uh, they all have different uh, skills, as you can tell. Now, to, um, there are certain things that I quoted as like my personal, uh, um, like a copyright type of labels to represent myself as far as like uh, tuning the Fujian. Is that in a lot of uh, tuning, you will find out that like the highest or the lowest area uh, of the scale, the pitch they were revert. Uh, instead of going oh, by ascending concept, they might be going to by the descending uh, by the end here or there. Now, the reason why it's not that I purposely created that way is because the convenience for the performance. I mean, when I like to uh, do a certain type of gesture for the easy performance content, the performer can just, you know, script the strings all together without thinking about time back and forth to create the pitches that is uh, out of the ascending lines or descending line. And that's the reason why I create uh, this type of the tuning system. And uh, later on, it's just become my signature. Now, uh, I just would like to create the scales uh, for this particular piece, the Zen Concerto, and this is actually written for 26 strings. Zen. without um, any extra um, uh, acts. Okay, and then to, um, the next things I would like to share to, is to take a look at of the skill that I have for this particular piece, and it actually can be narrowed down to certain type of skills that I uh, have it, uh, in mind when I compose this piece. Like in the scale of the gent, there are whole tone scales that have been input in there are G pentatonic scale as well as the autotonic scales and uh, also the Aeolian uh, pentatonic scales, harmonic minors that have been uh, input and been designed in this scale. Therefore, uh, with this particular scales, I was able to um, be composing to the piece or the movement to actually purely Western style as well as purely Asian style as well as the convergence. And that's the whole idea of the three movements. Therefore, like, the first movement is purely uh, Western styles using the poetic systems, the compact melody, the po uh, poetic rhythm, summits, as well as in the uh, a tonality harmonic concept. And then um, it has a very set of uh, related to the Eastern um, elements. On the movement two lines, it's primarily talking about the melodic lines going to assert and is using to the Asian concept. So the melodic uh, lines, they are all very lyrical and they are very Asian style, including the folk tunes that I created by myself. And uh, using a lot of ornamentations like the pitch bands, uh, abbreviation, uh, and um, the crescendos and the, the harmonic techniques and uh, of course some uh, pentatonic basses. Okay, and uh, a little bit Western music influences will actually incorporate the counterpoint as well as the forming position. The third movement's convergence actually is the one that put everything all together. Miss, uh, it's purely for like uh, east meets west. And uh, it also combines the material that I have been using before. And uh, the piece that, uh, the portion that can really show is the cadenza sections here.
underneath of uh, segments and it actually indicates uh, uh, where this segment actually coming from. So uh, we have the segments from the uh, third movement, the first movement, as well as the second movement. And that's uh, how it's actually being converted all together to, you know, by using to all the material that already pre-existing uh, from the piece that came uh, from uh, different movements before. And thank you so much for this opportunity. And I very greatly hope that you will like my music. Thank you.